an average, making him the first man since Rick Barry 20 years ago to go over 35. And for good measure, Michael Jordan also became the first NBA player to ever pile up 200 steals and 100 blocks in a single season. And along the way, he even handed down the 11th commandment, a new NBA rule of tongue. If his tongue's out, the shot's in. And the ball to Jordan, dribble drive, that's trouble, baby, slam, dunk. He, he plays so big, he, he's like he's 6'11", but uh, he, he combines his very special qualities that, that very rarely do you ever see come along the athlete. Maybe a Jack Nicklaus in golf, uh, a Jim Brown in football, an Abdul Jabbar in basketball. They, they have something very special about them. Indeed, if ever one man took a bull by the horns, it was Air Jordan who almost single-handedly led the Bulls to their first 40-win season in seven years. It was exhausting work, shouldering the whole load in crunch time, carrying an otherwise forgettable bunch on his back. But Michael Jordan, as always, did it with both spectacular flair and utter unpretentiousness, his natural warmth often masking his unbelievable desire, his creative genius quietly carrying the torch, the legacy of Julius Irving. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to keep him down on the ground after he scored a 50? He is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, his ex-teammate Sidney Green once said, trying to explain Michael's gift. But Michael Jordan sees his world more simply. The game, he says, is my wife. It demands loyalty and responsibility, and it gives me back fulfillment and peace. And it is this passion for his work, the way he takes the game to higher ground, up there all alone, that makes Michael Jordan almost a cult figure, even among the sport's other great stars. He likes to, to, to the challenges. He likes to, to say, okay, I'm going to beat all five of you. He, he strives on that. Do you see any of yourself in Michael? Oh, yeah. Except he, he does them above the rim, and I, I do them below the rim. <laughs> and that's a big difference. <laughs> so now, as he blasts off towards year number four, at the ripe old age of 24, what we're left with are questions. Like, shouldn't the shoe company he's made even richer change its name to Mikey? And wasn't Tom Wolfe really writing about Michael when he authored The Right Stuff? But if anybody ever asks why we love Michael Jordan, that answer can be found in a child's fantasy. We love him because he can fly. <laughs>